Oh no, I did a video, I recorded a whole video and it didn't record. <sighs> Flipping old men and technology doesn't mix. Anyway, <clears throat> what I've done is <coughs> go away. Who is that? Disturbing me. This is the beer that I have opened and emptied. And it was a little, little bit lively, it went all over the all over the picking place. Batham's Best Bitter from Briley Hill in the West Midlands. And uh, it's 4.3%. It's just a basic standard um, genuine ale. Because there it is, half drunk. And very nice it is too. It's got some lovely, lovely, lovely sort of back taste, caramelly back tasty kind of stuff going on in there. So the actual pouring and all that, you missed because I didn't pick and press the button hard enough. Anyway. <laughs> it does happen. Doesn't it? It's Wednesday. All right, folks. Cheers. I'll get it right one day. Goodness sake. I don't know. I'm going to sit and have a beer instead. very very pleasant indeed now this is the only one i've got left all the other stuff i've got is stuff i drink regularly so i need some new beers i need some more beers i need some beers to try i'm gonna to have to go out foraging do you like that foraging for some more beers very soon and uh, we'll do that together so will you go away what what who's that Chris O'Connor, Steve Trafford, you're on the video, mate. Claim to fame. <laughs> Andy Does Ales is um, hopefully being recorded and about to sign out properly after trying to review Batham's Best Bitter, 4.3%. Very nice indeed. Highly recommended. <laughs> Fingers of Doom. I'm going to, right, let's, let's see if we can do this. I'm going to hold this now. Because otherwise it goes skittering across the table. <sighs> Hump day. It's all downhill to the weekend. Let's go. Well, here we are again. Sorry for the, any delay. I've been um, oh, busy. That's a blooper. 